we're the ones usually providing help. It's very hard for um, an officer sometimes to go ask for help. Officer Greengard shares the impact of serving and protecting the public. He says the mental health outreach is a godsend. We're, we're a tight family here, whether it be the Newhall office or police officers in general. Um, we can always see if one of our brothers or sisters do need help, and we do go help them, whether it be personal, one-on-one, -on -one, or guiding them to, to the right direction. Police officers are often exposed to traumatic events such as abused children or dead bodies, severe assaults, and involvement in shootings. Yeah, when I come to work, there's no guarantee of me coming home or an officer coming home. Um, it's like that in a lot of the frontline workers, uh, whether that be policemen or firemen, um, even doctors and, and nurses sometimes, they have on the front lines, they could be subject to that kind of stuff. So it, it's definitely tough, yeah. The classic symptoms of PTSD, inability to sleep, nightmares, intrusive memories, or feeling numb. Uh, especially with police officers, we deal with great things in, in our career and we deal with a lot of tragedy in our lives. Trauma affects many people differently. It can either turn into strength or pull a person down. And Officer Green Guard says it's a team effort to find gratitude in every situation. Reporting for Canyons News, I'm Vanessa Roque.